Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we are going to install the necessary tools and packages which is required in order to start developing a real-time chat application. So we are going to build a real-time chat application using React and Node.js. For that, first of all, we need Node.js. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime environment that allows you to execute JavaScript code outside of the browser environment. We are going to use Node.js along with Express to create our backend application. So to download Node.js, you need to go to nodejs.org. And once you type that URL in the address bar, you will be redirected to this page. In this page, here you can see a download button. When you will click on this download button, it is going to download an installer. Double click on that installer and follow the installation steps. Once the Node.js is installed on your machine, you can go to command prompt on Windows or terminal on Mac OS and there you can type this command node hyphen hyphen version. Once you press enter, it will give you the version of Node.js which is installed on your machine. So if you get a version like this, that means Node.js is successfully installed on your machine. But if you don't get a version, you get some other message. That means Node.js is not installed on your machine. So you can retry installing Node.js. With Node.js, it is also going to install NPM. So to check the version of NPM, you can type NPM hyphen hyphen version and you can press enter and it will give you the version of NPM which is installed on your machine. NPM is a command line interface which we are going to use in order to download and install packages from NPM repository. Once Node.js is installed, the next tool which we need is Postman. Postman is a popular tool for testing your APIs. In this course, using Node.js and Express, we are going to create some APIs and we are going to test those APIs using Postman. So we need Postman for our API testing and debugging. And again, to download and install Postman, you need to go to postman.com slash downloads. On this page, you will see this download button. Here you can see that the operating system of my machine is automatically selected. So you can simply click on this download button. Again, it is going to download an installer. Once the installer is downloaded, double click on that installer and follow the installation steps. For me, Postman is already downloaded. So that's why I'm not going to download it again. But once the Postman is downloaded and installed, the Postman UI will look something like this. So here, if I go to home page, Currently, I have some workspace created, so that's why I can see these requests. But if I go to home page, this is how the home page of Postman will look like. Here, you can create your own workspace by clicking on this workspaces button. And then you can send requests and save those requests in Postman. And I'm going to show you how to do that in our coming lectures. Once Postman is also downloaded, next. we need to create a MongoDB database. Now, in this course, I'm not going to use the local installation of MongoDB database. Instead, we are going to create a MongoDB database on cloud. So MongoDB also provides a cloud service, which is called as Atlas. So we are going to use Atlas to host our MongoDB database. And to use Atlas, you can create a free account by clicking on this try free button. You can enter your details there. So let me click on this try free button. And here you can sign up to Atlas using your Google account. Or you can also enter your details and then create a new account. It will create a new Atlas account for you. And there you can host your MongoDB database. And again, I'm going to show you how to do that in our coming lectures. Then we are also going to use another tool from MongoDB which is Compass. So here we have this Compass tool. We are also going to use it in this course. Compass is basically a graphical user interface to interact with MongoDB. So we are going to host our MongoDB database on Atlas, which is a cloud service. And to connect to that database from our local machine, we are going to use Compass. Finally, for writing and editing our code, we are going to make use of a code editor 
you can choose a code editor of your choice but i prefer using visual studio code so i have been using visual studio code in all my courses and i really like it so in this course also i'm going to use visual studio code so if you want to follow along with me you can also go ahead and download visual studio code in your local machine or you can also choose a code editor of your choice again to download visual studio code you need to visit to code.visualstudio.com there you will see this download button and here also the operating system of your machine will be automatically selected you simply need to click on this download button it is again going to download an installer double click on that installer follow the installation steps and install visual studio code for your local machine once all these tools are downloaded and installed on your machine you are ready to write some code now in this course we are also going to use some third party libraries for example express framework we are going to use socket.io and many other third party packages and that we will install whenever it is required as of now to start with the development process of our real time chat application these are the four tools which you need to have in your local machine already downloaded and installed so please go ahead and please download and install these tools and then once your development setup is ready you can move to the next lecture in the next lecture i am simply going to show you how this course is organized and in each section what we are going to learn and do this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day